Happy Tuesday afternoon, everybody. Hi, Ruckus. Well, we're gonna get birth out. We're gonna hook the vertical till on it. So, that's the plan anyway. Uh, how's everybody's day going, huh? Good, I hope. Running around, just to run around. Right. Oh. All right. She's full. So yeah, they spread manure over at Woodville behind the house and uh, we're going to go work that in. Slice and dice it a little bit with the vertical till. And then later on, at least get it, at least get it somewhat incorporated. And then later on, we'll uh, take the inline ripper over there and we'll rip that down. <laughs> So the fold is the only one that's wrong and I hooked it up wrong on purpose because I thought it was backwards last time I hooked it up. But it must have been right. Hmm. So let's go check that. I did push it up in the float. So that's green <laughs> there we go did you see any of them? they probably did but like I said before the blue ones we don't use those are for the outlets on the back in case I was to put the rolling harrow behind it which I should but I'm not going for I'm not going for a finish now I'm just trying to incorporate manure chew it up and incorporate so let's pull it out of the weeds so we can see what the tires look like well that's a long tool is a long tool.
I did have a rock stuck in one of these this spring. I guess we go around and put some air in the one time. You always want. Okay, I put air in that tire. Too high to read, and I didn't feel like climbing up there, so I walked over and measured the pressure in the other one. It was 36 pounds, so I put 36 pounds in that one, so they're even. And this idiot's gonna pull over right next to a mailbox. Luckily they kept my way. Appreciate people pulling over, but you gotta look at where you're at. Well, that's, even if you're off the road, I'm still gonna have to get off the road a little bit. into a podcast steady at the wheel steady at the wheel podcast and just going along and next thing you know you're done anyway this is looking much better now the manure is chewed up and sized and the weeds are knocked down a lot of it I went across twice some of it just once just doing the whoop de doos and the sloop de woos and uh yeah so i gotta get that seat fixed in there she squealed on me a couple times so now we gotta pull this pin pull this pin out this goes up there pin comes back through it and the little pin goes through the hole and then we gotta lock the wings up too ow got my finger stuck in there things are tough so yeah we got the blades all shined up a little dirt in the wheels so anywho yeah I don't know if I showed you this but this got a nice hitch on it knock most of the dirt dirt clods off here so they don't end up on the road I found a bungee cord <laughs> Tarp strap. It was stuck on one of these outside ones here. I happened to notice it. What the heck is that flopping around? Oh, it's a bungee cord. So it got me a new, I don't know if it was one of Eric's 
or one that was in the manure. Okay, that was locked in. <clears throat> Always put your pins in. Now, if I was just going to a field across the road, I wouldn't. But I always hooked the safety chain up, too. I told you guys that. I lost a field cultivator one time on the way over here. But yeah, nice. Now I've got two bungee cords. So, anyway. So we got the manure incorporated. Next step, we'll be bringing the inline ripper over here. And uh, I want to I want to run the inline ripper through this, and then the disc chisel, and then either this tool again or or uh, the field cultivator, drag and rolling harrow, which I still have to uh, I still have to make a hitch for the drag to hook the rolling harrow on the back of that. Let's look at the corn. Here's my flag, which doesn't do any good on the headlands. And you can't really see in there, but that's a, a variety change. That side of the field has got, I think, channel. And this is either Golden Harvest or LG. I have to get my book out and look, but yeah, this is some good looking corn. I'm 6'3 and 6'4. And, uh, yeah, that's that's eight feet. I can touch eight feet. It's a little taller than that. <clears throat> I mean, the outside rows are always different. But look at this: two ears, two ears, two ears, two ears. Leaves look pretty good. I'm not gonna walk through there right now, but it's getting dark, so <coughs> I need to get home before it gets dark. This thing's got good lights on it. It's got it's got yellow lights up here on the front, right here that actually stick out just past the tractor. The tractor's got lights there and on top, and then it's got yellow lights here that are actually turn signals so are the front ones and then it's got red ones in there on both sides which are your marker lights and your brake lights and then turn signal marker turn signal so yeah <coughs> oh i left the door open again when i got out to get that bungee strap off of there that rubber strap i left the door open and there was there must have been a dozen horse flies, and they're big ones, big horse flies. And uh, there was two of them in the cab with me when it got going again. Luckily, I got them both shooed out before they chewed on me. You want to see the lights? I think that's one, uh, yeah. So we got lights on the back of the cab. Lights on the fenders, lights, flashers on the fenders. These are flashing. These are flashing. And then your red one's inside there. So yeah. And then I'll turn the, the beacon on up there too. You gotta, anything you can do to help yourself be seen these days, It's bright, you can see it. 
deflecting off the equipment over there. So, yeah, let's head home. Tammy, Tammy called me when I just got over here. She had the grandkids down to the fair. And she called me when I just got over here and says, hey, I got uh, supper. It's like, well, I'm over to Woodville. She was wondering if I was awake. Because I stayed up for a little bit this morning. And, uh, but I woke up about 5 o'clock. I think it was about 10 when I went to bed, so. The only problem with having corn here, you can't see anybody. These uh, firemen with Harris Elmore Fire Department. So he's got must be on a fire run. So anyway, I'm gonna put this camera down and pay attention to what's going on and get my butt home before it gets completely dark. We'll see you there. Okay, well, I know you, well, I, the glow of the monitor might be all right, but we made her home, passed out of all four or five trucks, and uh, our vehicles, and, uh, but yeah, no problems, so anyway, there's a neat feature, I think I've showed it before, you've got egress lights on this tractor, when you, uh, when you shut the key off, if you've had the lights on, and you shut the key off, the lights come on for, uh, you can adjust it too. I think it's like a minute. And it lets you get out and, and walk away. So, anywho. She smells like cow pooty now. <laughs> but anyway yep see there they went off so anyway i'm debating on whether to put the inline ripper on the back of the old 2470 and just leave that on there because the 2470 only has two remotes i do have an electronic switch box to put on it that i could get three out of it but that thing takes four to run it properly and you got to have the constant on for the um, rolling baskets in the back and that's not good on them old pumps so I'm gonna leave that on there and I think I will put the inline ripper on on the old 2470 and uh, we can use that to do the inline ripping behind the vertical till like running that vertical till across there I didn't do it last year but did it this year and it just because the manure comes out in some big chunks in some places and that just sizes everything and uh, incorporates it a little bit so you're not going to spin out on a big pile lose traction on a big pile so anyway beautiful night red sunset pink red sky at night sailor's delight so what that means is it's actually a thousand miles of clear weather. Now red sky in the morning, which is in the east, that means that the front is upon us. I asked the guy that used to be in the Navy about that, and that's what he told me. So anyway, I'm going to go in here and eat supper. Ruckus is barking at the back door. He heard me. So... Anyway, that'll be it for tonight. Thanks for watching. Okay, happy Thursday morning. We had uh, 
Some tremendous storms go through last night. Look at that. 3.1 inches of rain. 3.1. I got a video of work when it first hit Clyde. Let's patch that in here now. to the bats. It's that day. Both of them. He's stoned. We actually had him knocked out so they could trim his nails way back. Right back to the quick. And uh, so they both got all their shots, immunizations, we got their heart guard, and all that stuff. And, uh, yeah, almost a thousand dollars. So, yeah. Dogs. Anyway. Some water standing around. Seen a few fields, it's got a bunch of water in them. No, a few branches down here and there, nothing big. I haven't seen any. Uh, I haven't seen any crops knocked down. But they're saying we could get more tomorrow, so or today, later today. Still kind of gloomy out. But yeah, this storm come out of the north. Actually, come out of the northeast north northeast and uh, came down on us so I watched it come in at work it rained a bunch anyway we'll see where the day takes us probably to bed here before long 